Steve Chappell, Golf Course Superintendent at Royal Bled Golf Club in Slovenia. Thank you very much for speaking to Syngenta Growing Golf. Uh, Steve, golfers are just coming back now. Your course has just been um, opened uh, for, for a week or so now. Tell us about the, um, the challenges that you faced during lockdown preparing the course uh, and also the expectation of golfers as they come back to the course for the first time in, in some time. Okay, well, th thanks, Gary. Thanks for having me on. Um, yeah, it's been it's been interesting. We we opened last Tuesday, um, and uh, we've really been trying to um, get get the golf course underway for uh, a few weeks. Uh, we've had some limitations with uh, furloughed staff and so on, and and coming out of the winter here, um, we were already closed. So we've been trying to preempt kind of get to a point where we're sort of seven day ready if you like um for when the government was going to allow us to to open and uh, and we've managed to to do that we've also had to uh, manage expectations of golfers we're, i think we're all at the club really excited that we've actually got golf back out there and certainly the numbers of golfers that we've had coming through the door our local members and annual ticket holders have, have certainly been quite high we're averaging probably about 80 rounds a day on the 18 hole course but uh it's been it's been interesting it's been good and and you know we're, we're we're pleased where we are um but as we move forward with this it really is very much on a week-to-week -week basis um you know making sure that people understand the limitations that we're all under um uh, but able enabling them to go out and enjoy um some recreation time uh, on the golf course so it is good news. Uh, golf golfers are coming back, but you you just talked about their expectations there, and and indeed, I mean, what what's the reality? Um, you know, can the golf course be as good as you wish it to be? And and indeed, how do you you and your colleagues feel feel about that? Well, of course, that's the that's the one thing I think that um, is what is one of the things that people coming back really should have to consider. Um, our crew is about a third of what it should be at this time of year so obviously there's a lot of attention to detail work that we're just not getting to so the the nuts and bolts of the golf course the you know the the main play areas tees fairways greens approaches etc we're, we're able to maintain those to a decent standard and and the feedback we've had so far has been positive um things like bunkers uh, hazards etc you know semi roughs are only being cut once every 10 days or so so it, there's stuff that isn't being done and isn't being attended to and and there's an element of frustration from from my part and from my crew's part that we're not able to present the golf course as we feel it should be presented however under the 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 regulations and 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 the common sense that social distancing is is adopted you know we're, we're adopting and keeping people safe um that's just that's the way it is yeah Looking further afield uh, across Europe, what's been the uh, experience of, uh, of your colleagues? Uh, and indeed, with the pressure on from a business perspective, and no doubt budgets being cut uh, for, for maintenance, um, do golf courses have to mind out that they don't cut too much? And the expectation is that we've got half a green crew, but they seem to have done a good job uh, during the lockdown. Why can't it stay like that? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, okay, so uh, I've been in touch with, um, you know, uh, Russell Anderson at the Scan Club up in Denmark. Um, obviously, the, 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 you know, Dem golf in Denmark was, was opened up um, a couple of weeks ago bef before we were able to open. Um, you know, and, and, and they're doing what they're doing under restrictions. Um, I think there's a very real danger that, that clubs need to adopt a common sense point of view and, and to a degree greenkeepers do as well i mean i've had a lot of meetings at club level and, and with our owners in relation to budgets and spending and how we can you know how we can basically scale down what we're doing spending wise but but still produce produce a product so whilst i think it's very easy and you look on social media sometimes and i'm probably guilty of it but because i take photographs and i i like to keep people informed as what we're doing it, it, on the on the surface it can look like a million dollars but there's a lot of small detail work that i mentioned earlier on and you know say not maintaining bunkers and not edging cart paths and all the small bits and pieces that just get overlooked at the moment um, and without having a golfers on the golf course um, you can do a lot more 
Um, but uh, when golf comes back, obviously everything's going to take that bit longer. So, yeah, it's it's a balance, and it's going to be a balance that that, that people are going to have to work hard to find, uh, both golfers and green keepers uh, in that regard. But as we said earlier on, I feel that it is incredibly positive that we're taking these steps now to to get golf back out there, and 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 it can only be a good news story, in my opinion. Is there a hope as well, Steve, that perhaps um, following this lockdown, as as golfers come back, um, and perhaps there might be greater recognition for the work of superintendents and and greenkeepers, and and actually the important role they play, not only in kind of maintaining the golf course, but actually a green space from which golfers benefit in in many ways. Yeah, I I really do actually. I had this conversation with Sammy Strutt from Bigger, um, and and we talked about this, and and when I look at social media and when you speak to to other people uh, in the industry <clears throat> a lot of before the uk went into lockdown it was pretty much the green keepers or the head green keepers and the guys working on the golf courses that were instrumental in keeping those facilities safe for the members to play on obviously since it's been in lockdown generally the guys obviously limited numbers are, are being able to keep the facilities ticking over so I really hope and I'm, I'm optimistic about the fact that the profile of greenkeeping um, will hopefully raise uh, outside, of, outside of our own industry and our own profession. I really do. I, I hope, and I hope the guys pick up the mantle with that back in the UK and, and elsewhere in Europe and, 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 and sort of push that advantage home, really. Well, Steve Chappell at uh, Royal Blake Golf Club in Slovenia, thank you very much for speaking to St. Gentle Growing Golf. Pleasure. Thank you very much, Gary.